Well, now that we've talked about the gravity sewer systems, let's take a look at the low pressure uh, system and the components involved with it. Well, first, the low pressure systems are installed in areas where the topography of the land and ground conditions aren't suitable for a gravity system. And reasons for this might be that the terrain is very flat, so that the sewer lines would continue to get deeper and deeper and deeper. Uh, so going with this pressure system uh, would be possibly a better way to go. Uh, another reason would be the ground's very rocky, so trenching's difficult. Um, or if you have an area where the water table is high, and so when you're trenching, uh, you have this constant battle with the water table. Um, so these would be three reasons that a community would want to go with a low-pressure system as opposed to a gravity system. And there's some advantages to the low-pressure system, uh, and these include fewer stoppages. You don't have root intrusion problems like you do in gravity systems. You don't have the infiltration problems. Uh, the trenches don't need to be as deep. And then you don't have a need for inverted siphons. And we already talked about that in the definitions, and a little bit later we'll talk about the inverted siphon again. Uh, but these are the advantages that we see with the low-pressure system. Now, whenever there's advantages, there's always got to be disadvantages. Well, here they are. Uh, the disadvantages of the low-pressure system is higher energy costs, and that's because we have to power the pumps to pressurize the water. When you're using gravity, there's no pumping cost involved. And then also just the cost of maintaining the pump stations and the, the power costs and, and maintenance combined um, for greater costs at pumping stations. So those are the disadvantages of the low pressure system. Well, what are the parts or the components of the system? Well first we have the gravity sewer which is the line that comes from the house or the building that goes to the pump chamber. Um, that pump chamber is also called the pressurization unit. And it's a gravity line that's vented to atmospheric pressure. So this first portion that's in red uh, is a gravity line from the building to the pump chamber or the pressurization unit. So at that point, it's not under pressure. It's at atmospheric pressure. Then it goes to a holding tank that serves as a reservoir and holds about 50 gallons. And in that uh, reservoir is a grinder pump. And that's what's going to pressurize the water so it can make it into the force main. So we have a holding tank as another component of this low pressure system. Like I said, within that holding tank is the grinder pump. And the grinder pump grinds solid waste to prevent downstream plugging or stoppages. And it also raises the water pressure to, again, provide the motive force to move the wastewater into the force main and then onto the wastewater treatment plant. And then there's the pressure main uh, that conveys wastewater to the treatment plant. And they follow the contour of the land since they don't need to rely on gravity to move the water. So it's where a gravity system goes as a, at a fairly constant slope going deeper and deeper on flat land. Uh, this low pressure system can stay at the same depth because it's relying on pressure to move the water and not gravity. Um, also within the pressure mains they have access points uh, for pig insertion for line cleaning. So those are the main components of a low pressure system.